This is the College World Series Daily Report presented by Coca-Cola. Of course, there's lots of action around Rosenblatt Stadium and Fan Fest during the College World Series. But for the teams, it sets up like this. You play a game at Rosenblatt, you take the next day without playing a game, an off day. After day one of the College World Series, the Rice Owls had an emotional come from behind win, 15 to 10 over Louisville. So yesterday, we trailed around the 03 NCAA champs to see what an off day in Omaha is like. Relax, enjoy watching these games, uh, probably go to the pool for a little while, maybe watch a movie, and uh, just stay out of the sun, really. What's the key to surviving these these days between games? Um, really just kind of concentrating on the folk, the tasks that you have at hand. Like, I mean, you can you can take the day off, yeah, but everyone here would be stupid not to think that we have to, we have to play our game to beat North Carolina tomorrow. They're going to bring their A game to the park, and so do we. So you really just, you can, you can relax up to a certain extent, but you can't lose task of what you're here to do. For the Rice team, day two of the College World Series began with an 11 a.m. practice. On weary legs, they took the field at Bellevue East High School, having barely recovered from their rousing win over Louisville, a game where the Owls fought back from a 10 to 4 deficit. We felt like that, uh, you know, we know Barry's can pitch and he just had an off day, but um, it was good for our team to see that uh, we could we could go with the offense when we needed to. We struggled scoring runs in the playoffs, and um, it was big for our team to, to be put in a deficit like that and have our offense, uh, you know, pick us up. It doesn't matter if I went seven innings, no run, run you know, ten strikeouts, or I went two and two thirds, whatever. We got the W, and um, I look upon it, and I, I can come back Sunday in a bullpen session or something like that, and... Uh, you know, coach can use me you know, Wednesday start or something like that. So I, I just try to keep my head up and uh, you know, trust in myself that I can do better next time. I mean, it was up and down with the emotions. We got down early, and uh, I mean, a lot of the guys were, I mean, none of them got flustered because we got a lot of veterans out there. But I know I was nervous, and uh, luckily our bats started getting hot, so we were able to get our lead back. So. We never really feel like we're out of the game, and it's just, it's un an undescribable feeling, and I, there's that determination within the dugout. We don't, we're not here to lose this time, and I think we're really showing it. After practice, the team grabbed lunch hosted by the Omaha Lions Club. It was a chance to relax, to take in the afternoon game on TV, and to think about the challenge of remaining in the winner's bracket with a victory over North Carolina Sunday night. They're balanced really up and down. I think they're kind of like us, where they, they just do everything well. Um, and I mean, it's going to be tough. It's tomorrow's a very important game. Obviously, trying to get in, stay in the winners bracket. How much are you looking forward to tomorrow night? Your first chance to pitch in Omaha, the College World Series. I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's um, it's kind of a symbol of a year's you know worth of uh, you know a lot of things changing, a lot of things um, you know that were going against me. But it's going to be fun. You know, we want to win and uh, uh, hopefully uh, give my team a chance to do that. Joe Savory's been a hitting star for the Rice Owls, a first-round draft pick, an All-American. And finally, for the first time in his Owl career, he gets to pitch in Omaha. He takes the mound against North Carolina. Two of the three national seeds to make it here to Omaha meet tonight, North Carolina versus Rice. This has been the College World Series Daily Report presented by Coca-Cola.